from the Executive Director of Talent Coordination of Universal Independent Wrestling here. Please welcome Mr. Don Taylor. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now I have an announcement to make. Due to some booking conflicts, Jerry the King Lawler will be unable to appear here this evening. Do you have something you'd like to share with us, Scotty the Buddy? Shut up. Listen, due to unforeseen complications, who are you fooling? The only reason he didn't show up was that Scott Anthony, the Palm Beach heartthrob, is here, and he's terrified of me. <laughs> well, we have found a suitable substitution. Wait, there is no suitable substitution. There is no sub. Give me the mic. There is no substitution for me. Because, hey, are you getting pushy? Because when it comes to loving ladies, Tom Cruise don't know a thing. And compared to my IQ, Einstein's a dingling. Girls see my smile and the gleam in my eye. They see this body and they say I'm so fly. They say that I'm sweet like a vintage champagne and want to kiss me all over like a big candy cane. Allow me to bring out the beast from the east, the tattoo terror. Bam, bam, Bigelow. You haven't been, been Bigelow's a replacement. You can't bring him out here. He's huge. The guy's a monster. He's got tattoos on his head. You can't bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match, first introducing, weighing in at 263 pounds, hailing from Holbrook Street in the hood, here is the bad thing, A.J. Britzoy. He is accompanied to the ring by his tag team partner, Ladies and gentlemen, he is a opponent. He is the current Universal Independent Wrestling Heavyweight Champion of the World, weighing in at 265 pounds from Cairo, Egypt, the Golden Phoenix. Once again, your referee for this bout, Jumpin' Joey DiCarlo. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of UIW Universal Independent Wrestling. Dave the Wave here along with Mike Paradise. Mike. Dave, exciting match for the first match right out of the box here. Good to be back. Great we got a great crowd and we're, we're here at the Parkville Armory in Baltimore, Maryland for this edition of UIW Independent Wrestling. Yes indeed and there's the insatiable one, Adrian Hall up there with uh, Jumpin' Joe DiCarlo. Coming out with uh, AJ Banthing Fritzoy to set up this first match. Our, chair, our UIW heavyweight champion, the Golden Phoenix. As he walks around the ring, greets his fans, Dave, the way. This shapes up real good. Great way to start the show. AJ Fritzoy, the bad thing, he's the number one contender. And he's been waiting for this title shot for quite some time. But why is Adrian Hall out there with him? Well, Dave, the wave. Uh, from what I understand, at least what my sources tell me, is simply that uh, they are a tag team now. A They're, tag team. Yes, oh, Dave, the wave, and, and they are uh, they are billed as sweet and sour. All right, Dave, I'll leave you to guess Very which one's sweet and which one's sour. But anyway, AJ's supposed to be in there by himself for the heavyweight championship match right oh, now. Oh, Pearl Harbor attack. That's the way they do it in the hood, folks. The bad thing, A.J. Fritzoy going right to work on the Golden Phoenix with forearms, driving them down into the back, takes them to the ropes. 
Oh, boom! Phoenix explodes with an elbow. Well, the Phoenix looks like he's, kick. he's bulked up here a little bit, Dave, the wave. And uh, he's gonna he's hard enough to handle anyway. And I think the bad thing's gonna find that out real quick as he chases him out of the ring. He sends Fritzoid running for, for cover as Adrian Hall circles around behind him. All right, and uh, Golden Phoenix inciting the crowd here, trying to get it going early. And Fritzoid, he's taking his time as Joe DiCarlo's trying to give him a count, Dave. A.J. Fritzoid from Holbrook Street in the hood. And uh, the Golden Phoenix in a lineman stance there. He's ready to come at him. He's going back, trying to bring him into Ooh. the ring, and Fritzoid uses the top rope to snap him back there. Hey, you do what you have to do. That, like I said, that, that's the way they do it in the hood, down and dirty. Hip toss right out of the corner. Fritzoid in control. He's got him tied up in the ropes. He's got a five count to break it. One, two. And he breaks on a three count there, Dave, the way. His right hand is heavily taped. Yeah, and he looks like he's using that pretty effectively, that and the ropes on the Golden Phoenix, Dave, the way. Oh, that, now there. We there knew Adrian see. Hall would get in this somehow. The art of distraction. Fritzoid pulling Joe DiCarlo aside as Adrian Hall gets in his licks. Well, Dave, it looks like it's going to wind up being a tag team match, whether the Phoenix likes it or not. Stiff chop as Fritzoid backs Phoenix into the corner. Hard right hand. He's got him by the hair. Pounding away. Headbutt. 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 And that, another one. Head must be like a cinder block. It's big enough. <laughs> well, Fritzoid doesn't seem any the worse to wear for it, Dave, as he laughs it off and walks around the ring and he pulls the Phoenix out. Body slam. I'm sort of surprised that uh, Fritzoid has someone out at ringside with him, especially Adrian Hall. Well, Dave, I heard this just before the match started. And was that Sweet and Sour was the newest addition to, uh, to the tag teams that we have in the UIW now. Considering Fritzoid's history of turning on his friends, well, you have to wonder. I guess Adrian Hall may Don live Taylor, and learn. Don Taylor, the president of the OW, likes to call him AJ Schizoid. As, as Phoenix comes off the top row, flying cross body block. One count there. Elbow driving down. He can explode out of nowhere with moves like that one. Russian leg sweep. And the Phoenix is definitely ready to defend his title tonight. Doing a pretty good job of it so far, right. setting him up for a vertical suplex. Yes! Ooh. Fritzoid lands with his feet on the ropes. But he caught pretty much all of that suplex. Another, Another elbow. Another driving elbow. One, two, foot's on the rope. Gonna have to break it. That's Adrian it. Hall making sure Joe DiCarlo saw that. Well, Dave, the way the uh, Adrian Hall has certainly uh, proved to uh, the bad things advantage out here tonight. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour, Bobby Dave. That's what they tell me. It'd be interesting to see them in tag team action. <laughs> Talk like about different uh, contrasting styles. And That's true. Not just styles, attitude, everything. Fritz Lloyd's about as hard as you can get in. Oh, wait a minute, right there. Oh. Adrian Hall, he grabbed the leg of the Golden Phoenix. The referee did not see it. Fritz Lloyd quickly taking advantage of it. And once again, the momentum shifts back to A.J. Fritz Lloyd's. Oh, German leg. suplex took him over hard. That could be it. That's a patented move of A.J. Fritz Lloyd. Well, Fritz Lloyd's got that smile on his face again as he starts to applaud himself. Wasting too much time, though. Yeah, he's, he's got go it. You got to jump on the Phoenix. He's not going to lay there. Calling for it again, could be going for another one. Sets him up. Ooh, two in a row, this time with a bridge, too. Ooh. I got the shoulder up. That was not a three count. Wait a minute. Wait no, a no, you didn't Whoa, win yet. Wait that was a only minute. two. Adrian Hall is in the ring, ring celebrating. Wait a minute, it's a disqualification. Disqualif wait a Dave, that's what it's gotta be. We're gonna get an announcement. Here goes the ring announcer. And still, Wait Universal Independent Wrestling, heavyweight champion of the world, the Golden Phoenix.
There wasn't a pin. It wasn't. What it, was he disqualified for? I guess maybe for Adrian Hall getting in the ring. But Dave, the way we're going to get the answer to that, we'll be back with more wrestling right after this. Hey, you, sitting there watching this pro wrestling show, did you ever wonder how guys like Kirk Dredd, the War Pig, Axel Rotten, and the other UIW stars got into wrestling? Here's your answer. They attended the Pro Wrestling Training Center in Hanover, Pennsylvania. This facility can make you the next UIW star. Call the owner, Phil Leibelsberger, at 717-633-9542 and get started in your new exciting career. Stop watching and be watched. Join the Pro Wrestling Training Center now. Attention wrestling fans, here's your chance to add all the great UIW action to your home video library. Universal Independent Wrestling is now available on video cassette. Each action-packed tape contains one exciting hour of UIW matches and interviews as seen on TV. All for the incredibly low price of $14.95. Just send $2 in a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen to receive your catalog of all the great UIW action now available to you. Ladies and gentlemen, first introducing from Southeast Asia, here is Agent Orange. Gentlemen, his opponent, weighing in at 210 pounds, from Osaka, Japan, here is Watsumi, the rising sun. Well, here you go, Dave the Wave. We've got a great light heavyweight match here for our second match of this hour of uh, Universal Independent Wrestling. Quickly, Dave, though, let's clear up what yeah, happened. Yeah, Dave, in that what was last the upshot match? of it? I talked to Joe DiCarlo during the break, and evidently, what happened? AJ Fritzoid, he gave Golden Phoenix that back suplex, but Fritzoid's shoulders were down, and Phoenix was able to get his up. So at, it was a, it was a legal pin. Counts. It wasn't so it was a disqualification. Legal pin, yes. Le legal pin. A legal pin. Okay, there you go. No mistake about that. Meanwhile, light heavyweight action. Continues in the ring, and we've got Watsumi, the rising sun. Dex has got him backed on the ropes. Good to see the light heavyweights, though. Yeah, it is. Much more exciting, usually high-flying action, like we're going to see right here from the man from Osaka. Whoa, flying cross body block. And a quick pin try there by Watsumi, Ooh. and a drop kick coming out of the corner. He was born in the United States, but trained in Japan, Watsumi. The Rising Sun, now he's got Agent Orange backed into the corner. Of course, Agent Orange, we know why he wears that hood. Yeah, Dave, and you know, there are enough mystery men in the UIW, and these are just a couple of the examples Ooh. of what we have here, and these guys are fast. Agent Orange, evidently, wearing that mask to conceal scars suffered during the Vietnam War. I don't know about Watsumi, why he wants to hide his identi identity, I guess, to add a little bit of mystery to his character, psych out his opponents, perhaps. Agent Orange with a cover. Okay, so they've both attempted a, a pin so far here in the match, Dave, and these guys haven't let up. I mean, they came out fighting. I mean, they're That's ready the to go. That's the way it is with the light heavyweights, non-stop motion in that ring. That's right, Joe DiCarlo's got his work cut out for him in there, Dave. The wave he's got to keep these guys separated. Agent Orange, Irish whip, takes Watsumi, hard elbow right to the throat. Agent Orange. A Agent Orange has done more talking to the crowd tonight than I think I've ever seen him do, Dave the Wave. It's some kind of uh, yell or bellow that he lets out. Who knows? Who does know? Now billing himself from Southeast Asia. Perhaps he went back. Maybe. maybe, maybe I can't imagine did, him Dave. missing it. No, maybe he me. went back to find some of his buddies. Who knows? There you go. But anyway, a suplex there from uh, Agent Orange. And once again, there's that groan that he lets out. It was for a no. 
opted not to take the cover and lifts up Watsumi. Irish whip again. Reversal, Watsumi. Ooh. Ooh. And a forearm right across the throat there. He's going up. Top rope. Backflip. Oh, moonsault. He missed. Nobody was there. Watsumi missing with the moonsault flip off the top rope. Ooh, Agent Orange caught him with a hard clothesline, flipped him 360 degrees. One, two, three, that's and it. Three count, and Agent Orange is the winner in our second match here. This you want to go back and take wrestling. a look at that one? Yeah, they, well. There you see, Watsumi with that backflip, he missed. And Agent Orange, boom, catches him with a clothesline. Well, Joe DiCarlo's still administering to uh, Watsumi of the Rising Sun. He really did take a shot on that one, Dave the Wave. And we're going to get back with more wrestling right after these messages. Welcome back to UIW Universal Independent Wrestling. Dave the Wave here along with Mike Paradise coming to you from beautiful downtown Parkville, Maryland, Parkville, Baltimore, Maryland. That's right. The Parkville Armory. One of the lovelier suburbs out here, Dave, or sections of Baltimore. Dave, the way, I'll he tell disappeared. you. disappeared. This... Rasta the Voodoo Man walked into the shadow and literally disappeared there. Dave, the way, I got to tell you, this guy, the surgeon, he always gives us a show whenever he's on Universal Independent Still, Wrestling. I, I wouldn't let him touch my body if he were the last <laughs> surgeon on earth. And it, That's right. Even if my... Ladies Liver and was <laughs> gangrene, I wouldn't let him touch me. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to tell you that no matter what he calls himself, nobody's writing malpractice insurance for this guy. And he's not in here against uh, some and lightweight. No, I mean, no Rasta the Voodoo any, Man. This guy is huge and very, very scary. And right now, he's looks like he's praying uh, to the uh, Jamaican oh, gods, perhaps. This is no good. <laughs> The surgeon not wasting any time, not about to uh, wait for Rasta to finish his little religious ceremony, taking him across to the other corner, charges him with an elbow. I don't know who the fans are going to side with on this one. Snap mare there. And Dave the Wave. Pretty quiet. It's Yeah, it is pretty quiet. I think they're stunned. Uh, they were watching uh, Rasta the Voodoo Man's uh, religious ceremony or whatever he was going through. And then, of course, he got attacked from behind by the surgeon. Surgeon now twisting and turning at the neck of Rasta, pounding with an elbow to the forehead. Reverse chin lock now, trying to wear the big guy down. Dave, we saw the way this earlier. I would venture a guess that the surgeon will pay later on for interrupting the ritual which the Rasta the Voodoo Man just went through. I wouldn't want to be in the surgeon, Sues. I don't think no. uh, Rasta's the kind of guy you want to get upset. No. As you can see, he's beginning to uh, give the surgeon the evil eye right now, and I don't think he's far away from uh, seeking retribution from the surgeon. He comes to us from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Wouldn't mind uh, no, being I'd like there to be, myself. No, right not, not in this kind of weather, Dave. Um, but anyway, Rasta the Voodoo Man has always been a tough customer. Uh, been in the UIW since the inception, much like the surgeon, and uh, ooh. Uh, he will always make a comeback, as he's proving right now. Rasta uh, doing a little surgery of his own. Mm-hmm. Breaking the rules in the process. That was definitely a low blow. No yeah. doubt about it. Now, Rasta in control, sending him up for a body slam. No, suplex. Flex. Took him over hard. He sure did, Dave. The Both wave. of these men, two of the biggest competitors in the UIW. Right. I'd like to see uh, Rasta take on Bam Bam Bigelow. That, that would be a great that match, would be Dave. The way I have seen Rasta, of course, in other wrestling federations, take on some really huge people, and I mean pound for <clears> pound, <throat> he is a strong man. He'll stand in there against anybody. The surgeon finding out firsthand just how strong Rasta really is as he pounds away, beel throw right out of the corner. Oh, and the surgeon doesn't think he needs a, I mean, Rasta doesn't think he needs a referee either. Rasta's got the surgeon on the ropes. He's got five to break it. Still to come, folks, in this hour, Axel Rotten, Morgus the Maniac, Insatiable Adrian Hall, Rip Sawyer, and much, much more. Every, Stick around. Everyone a colorful character in their own right, Dave the Wave. 
and that's what you can expect from Universal Independent Wrestling. Where the future of professional wrestling is right here and now today. These are the future stars, folks. Rasta perhaps seeing stars there. Yeah, Hit the corner, corner pretty hard, and now the surgeon. Uh, doing a little cutting on uh, Rasta there on the in the throat. corner. Perhaps <laughs> trying it to <laughs> cut a tracheotomy <laughs> with his fingernails. That's what it looks like. Wait a minute, the oh. referee uh, is arguing with the surgeon while Rasta, he picked up that cane, that voodoo cane, cane. and stabbed him right in the throat. The referee's calling for the bell. It's gonna be a disqualification, no doubt. Well, I thought they were moving along oh, pretty good. I'd get out of there. This guy's yeah. out of ready. control. Oh, Sergeant caught Look it. Look at this he's in got, a boot. He's got, oh, oh he breaks the cane right in half. Rasta's back, and he's heading for the ropes and out of the ring. Rasta cannot believe this. That's his uh, pride and joy, that uh, ceremonial stick. The surgeon. Dave the Wave, that was a, a quick turn of events. I can't believe the surgeon pulled it out like that. Go back, let's go back and take a look at it. There you see the surgeon hits him with his own stick, breaks it right in half, that ceremonial voodoo stick. Hey Dave the Wave, that's the way it works here in Universal Independent Wrestling. And we'll be back with more right after this. Well, here's a crowd pleaser, Dave the Wave. Here he comes, fresh off a tour of Australia, Axel Rotten taking on, I always thought Bob looked more like uh, Danny Partridge than Chucky, but I guess he does uh, bear a resemblance to the well, little the, uh, the red tights go well. very well with the hair, Dave. Definitely. <laughs> Axel Rotten, he brought his fan club as usual. He really does Axel a real crowd pleaser here in the Baltimore area and really wherever else he goes. Uh, no matter what we might think of his behavior in the ring, nevertheless, There's the fans fan do love him. Yeah. Their Axel Rotten flag. There you go, Axel wants to hear it. Anarchy in Parkville here tonight. It's the first time I ever saw him quite anybody. Oh, he's going to lead a chant here. He's starting a Chucky chant, <laughs> and Bob doesn't like it <laughs> one bit. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood, Bob Starr. One I'm of the ever-present <laughs> figures in the Maryland wrestling circles. He's going to be trying his luck against the big man from Newcastle, England. Yeah, Axel, here we go. another Pearl Harbor. That's about the third one we've seen today. But That's hey, right. you do what works. Yeah, these guys can't wait to get started, Dave. Especially away. against Axel Rotten. And Axel uh, said, well, I'm Forget not going to let you slam Ooh. my head. <laughs> Whoa, what a forearm. I know Axel's got one thing on his mind, and that's Johnny Stonewall Lawler, his former protege, his student, so to speak, his friend. He turned on him not too long ago. That's, that's what I understand, Dave, the wave. And Johnny just couldn't, Johnny was jealous. Oh, elbow off the Boy. top. Oh. Axel looks like he wants to that's get this it. one done quick. And Hollywood well, Bob Star is history, like ladies we were saying, and gentlemen. Johnny Stonewall Lawler. Well, extremely was extremely jealous of Axel's actual. Wait a minute, there he is! That's he it. came out from look, under the ring. Oh Johnny boy! Johnny Stonewall Lawler came Talk out from under the ring. Talk about a Pearl Harbor, Dave the Wave. Look at this. Oh come on! We were look just saying the guy must have been hiding under oh, the no. ring, Dave. Dixie Pile Driver. Oh, nailed him with it. Johnny Lawler was under the ring. The, has he been under the ring all night? Dave, he must. I don't know, Dave. No, Certainly nobody saw him. And he came out. Left Axel laying with a pile driver. Talk about a surprise. Came in and gave it a shot. And there he goes as he struts off to the dressing room. Uh, maybe Johnny could be proud of that. I don't know what conditions Axel, Axel, Axel is in. A, Johnny hit him pretty hard look, with that pile driver. He's 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 the flat out on his checking back. him out. That's right, Jim. Do our ring announcer is over there along with the referee. Extremely dangerous maneuver that pile driver. Axel seems to be snapping out of it, uh, Dave. The wave. No damage done. Certainly hope not, but but There's nobody. There's be some damage done when Axel gets a hold of Johnny. Believe yeah. me. Well. He wants him back. Hopefully, we'll see that in the future, Dave. Let's get we'll that see match that in the signed. Future. Axel, Axel calling for Johnny Lawler to come Lawler, out now. Bring your fat ass out again, pal. Hit me when I'm looking at you. Okay, there you go. I, 
Dave, I can't agree more I don't with think Axel. Johnny's going to come back out. No, now. but I don't think Johnny Lawler will. John, Johnny Stonewall Lawler, ladies and gentlemen, a complete surprise to us as he was hidden, and I don't know how Dave. Folks, the this one is far from over. Believe right. me. Well, he's calling for Johnny far Lawler again. Calling for Johnny Lawler again, and here oh, comes wait a minute. Here he comes. Okay. The student takes on the teacher. And not the way to come in the ring against Axel Rotten. Flat on his back. Axel delivers a couple of kicks, whips him into Ooh. the ropes, and a big, Vicious big forearm. And Johnny Vicious. Lawler scurries out of the ring. Knock the wind right out of him. So, ladies and gentlemen, you have it right there. Axel Rotten Far says, Come on, over. Johnny. And when it's face to face, Dave the Wave. Not much of a contest. Definitely be seeing more from these two folks. Things are heating up here in the UIW. They certainly are, ladies and gentlemen. And here's uh, Axel taking off the dressing room. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more right after this. Hold on to your chairs, your children, <laughs> and anything else you might be holding in ringside, fans. That's right. This is no this place guy. for for pets and small children, Dave the Wave. Morgus the Maniac, a man who always makes a great entrance out there with his handler. Extremely or, dangerous, though, or, Mike. Or, as a, you see, or attendant or whatever, Dave the Wave. His intern uh, <laughs> helping him off with his uh, straight jacket. His hospital apparel as he climbs into the ring. He has Beach Boy. There Dave. he is. He just woke up. Oh. He's ready to go. I saw the padded truck uh, parked out back, I guess. <laughs> They were keeping him in there until match time. Well, you know, Dave, in the past when we've seen Morgus the Maniac, he usually warms up by bouncing off of everything. Or, you know, <laughs> falling down a few times. <laughs> Didn't have much of a chance this time as he flailed from corner to corner. And Vinny looks like he's going right to work here. I don't think, I don't think Morgus uh, quite realizes what's happening yet. Maybe that those uh, sedatives or whatever they give him Right, some, I'm Evan sure some. Hasn't uh, worn off completely yet. It's yes. not like him to, to uh, start out this slow. No, Dave, he is absolutely docile tonight. I mean, he is calm. And we're going to see what happens here. No, Vinny, that's Don't illegal. Don't ask the fans, just do it. <laughs> Act like a tennis shoe and just do it. Beach anyway. Boy Vinny with a leg lock. And Morgus with Ooh. a patented face rake. All right, now I think that Morgan, Morgus, once he gets on his feet here, will be the one, the Morgus we've Morgus known to that come we and, love. and love. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Snap Mare takes Beach, Beach Boy Vinny over hard. He's going to go for a body slam, picks him up, drops him down. Go. He's starting to wake up now. There he is. There you go. <laughs> Morgus the maniac. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a child that smiles like that, please get them in some kind of special school. Anyway, <laughs> there's Marcus. I know He's Marcus right. has been to plenty of those in <laughs> yes, his life. he has. Bellevue State Eye Hospital is his home. The beard He's seems their, to be getting longer, pride, Dave. Their pride, state, their pride and joy up there. All the patients gather around the TV and watch UIW every week. I know that's the <laughs> highlight, to see their friend and uh, <laughs> there's comrade Marcus. in action. That's right. Dave, the way the hair looks like it's getting longer and the beard does too. I guess they haven't had any sharp instruments around him for quite some time. No, thank God. Beach Boy Vinny missing with an elbow. And Morgus slams his head into that turnbuckle. And oh, Mor Morgus is gonna work each and every corner quite possibly here with the turnbuckle. Ring around the rosy. I know they play this at the hospital a lot. <laughs> Vinny's the recipient. Really on the hospital end of this day, the way. The surgeon, uh, and there's we, a we saw butt. him earlier, if you remember, the surgeon used to be Morgus's uh, keeper, I guess yes. you could say, but uh, Morgus got a little too wild, I guess. He couldn't Dave, control him. Didn't we see them do a tag team one time? Which was a, which was a time, rather bizarre fact, match. Next week, they'll be yeah. facing each other. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay. Looking at the schedule here, that's going to be an interesting Just one. In the name of friendly competition. We no saw doubt. the student and the teacher earlier. I guess we could call that the, the keeper and the. the no, keeper. the doctor and the patient. Yeah, the doctor and the patient. <laughs> right. Although I question the medical credentials of the surgeon. Well, I think they would be hard to tell apart in the ring. Meanwhile, uh, Morgus. 
holding the family jewels as uh, yeah. Beach Boy Vinny hit him. Having a tough way to something. go. Oh, close line. And Morgus is... Uh, Always a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> yes, he is. Just yes, like we said, if you're away. sitting uh, within the first three rows, be careful when he goes on the outside of the ring. <laughs> Luckily, we have some barriers here in the Parkville Armory. We do, and that is a nice and touch. And if they can't get the straight jacket on them, they, I know they've got some uh, some armored equipment that they yeah. keep out back. We'll get the, the members of yeah, the first to, platoon to yeah, come in here. Yeah, come in and... Uh, and escort him out. Oh, Let Morgus doesn't, slam. he doesn't want to pin him though, Dave. He wants to mete out a little bit more punishment. Some type of suplex there, a different one. That's a Bellevue suplex, I guess, Dave. <laughs> Powered him over, Beach Boy <laughs> in trouble. Oh, and he pulls him up again. He's going to have a little fun. Morgus doesn't want to go back. Doesn't want to go, I, I wouldn't either. I mean, being in that padded truck cannot be exactly be fun. Oh, Dave. There we go. Patented that's it. Morgan's a maniac. Miles and says that's enough. Ladies and okay. gentlemen, winner of this match, Morgan's a maniac. Let's go back and take a look at it. There you see Morgan's Irish whip throws Beach Boy Vinny into the rope, literally grabs him around the throat and yeah. powers him down. And Dave, the way that Morgus is, is shaking his head like, I don't want to go. Look out, ladies there he goes. and gentlemen. There he goes. He's going to try to get away from his keeper. Yes, he heads back quickly. And I'm sure Vinny has not experienced anything like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave, the way and myself will be back with more Universal Independent Wrestling after this. Hey, you, sitting there watching this pro wrestling show, did you ever wonder how guys like Kirk Dredd, the War Pig, Axel Rotten, and the other UIW stars got into wrestling? Here's your answer. They attended the Pro Wrestling Training Center in Hanover, Pennsylvania. This facility can make you the next UIW star. Call the owner, Phil Leivelsberger, at 717-633-9542 and get started in your new exciting career. Stop watching and be watched. Join the Pro Wrestling Training Center now. Attention wrestling fans, here's your chance to add all the great UIW action to your home video library. Universal Independent Wrestling is now available on video cassette. Each action packed tape contains one exciting hour of UIW matches and interviews as seen on TV. All for the incredibly low price of $14.95. Just send $2 in a self addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen to receive your catalog of all the great UIW action now available to you. Dave the Wave, here we are, and here's Max as he uh, enters from the dressing room there. Always an exciting costume. Max always makes a fashion statement, and I think Rick Hoover may get a wrestling lesson today. I think Rick Hoover looks like he just got off of work maybe, threw on some <laughs> knee pads, and uh, well, just Dave, made it to the arena in time for this one. Dave the Wave, it's... Uh, I heard one of the fans say, is that Clem Kadiddlehopper? Okay, so. <laughs> Max Thrasher. <laughs> Max Thrasher. Don't call him the bounty hunter <laughs> no, anymore. Don't. He doesn't like that. He's on his own now. That's right. Totally independent. And Max, always a crowd pleaser. Fans starting to take quite a liking to him. Yeah. Didn't even bother to take off his chaps. Yeah. Irish Whiff taking Rick Hoover. Yeah. Ooh. Nails him with a clothesline right on the throat, driving knee. Well, Dave, the way, it's like I said, I don't, uh, Max may be giving this young man Rick Hoover, and I don't know, outside of the fact that he's from Baltimore, Maryland, what his experience is in the ring, but Max Not out much, there. I don't think. I don't think so either, Dave. Max out there to give him a wrestling lesson. Max Thrasher twisting and turning at the head. Another contender for that UIW Heavyweight Championship. Definitely has to rank up there in the top three, I would think. Absolutely, Dave. The wave and I, you know, and, and Max has mentioned this before. He said, hey, he said, I'll take just about any match to keep myself in shape here and, you know, do whatever I have to do. He said, but I'm waiting for a shot at that belt. All right, so he hasn't made any bones about that. And hopefully in the near future, Dave, the wave will be seeing a championship match between the Golden Phoenix and Max Thrasher. Max, I guess, just sort of using this as a warm-up, perhaps. That's what it looks like. Having his way with Rick Hoover. The fist of the face right there. It's going to be tough wrestling Another in those Another shot chests. to the head. Picking him up Set. for a body slam, perhaps. Dumps there him it down. Is. 
Rick Hoover. Uh, you think Max's hair can dead. get any longer? <laughs> You know, a lot of girls that envy him. For Dave, that I hair. was going to say, I know some women that would <laughs> yeah. kill for hair like that. He's going up on the top rope. High risk maneuver. Uh, unusual for Max. Splash! Oh! <laughs> Went over halfway across the ring. For That's the it. Three count. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. A definite Luna punctuation Max to that match. Max Rusher! <laughs> Let's go back and take a look at it. There you see Max Thrasher perching himself on the top rope. Air Thrasher, and halfway just across the ring. Flies oh. across the ring. Okay, Dave the Wave, uh, it's always good to see Max, and uh, we'll be back with more wrestling after these messages. Dave the Wave. Once again, this is for the now vacant light heavyweight championship. Thank you, Jim Doe. One Dave. of my personal favorite wrestlers, folks. I'm gonna. Rock hard, Ricky enjoy Blues. this one, Hard Rock Ricky Blues from Chicago, Illinois. Dave the Wave, in an effort, the, the UIW, to give the, the slightly smaller but faster wrestler a place to go, we've established this UIW Light Heavyweight Championship. And at this moment, it is vacant. <laughs> Nobody holds it. This and, match is going to decide it. And Dave the Wave, it's a great idea. It is. I love the Light Heavyweights, especially Hard Rock Ricky Blues. This guy can fly. And, and they will get... He should have wings. We will get an action-packed match from this, Dave the Wave, no doubt. He executes moves reminiscent of many of the Light Heavyweights in Japan. Backflips off the top rope. He dives into the crowd. He's, he's not afraid to do anything. He's like a stuntman. <laughs> Ramblin' Rich, no slouch Whoa. himself. What a spin out there, Dave the Wave. These are the uh, two top contenders for that vacant title. And they both look like they mean business for this match. Really, this, I know a lot of preparation. Both men spent a lot of preparation for this extremely important match. Probably the most important match of either man's career. Whoa! Flipped Just over top, right down into a pile driver, no back drop, took him over, landed on his feet. Woo, arm move drag. Move after move here, this ladies This is going to be a tough one to call, it's so quick. It sure will, Dave the Wave. They've got me spinning too, believe me. But ladies and gentlemen, well, like I said, in an effort to bring you the best in wrestling, the UIW established this light heavyweight belt. And as you can see. Here he goes. Certainly a great Climbing match so the top far. Flips over. Real wrestling. Reminiscent of Owen Hart. Some real wrestling here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Irish whip takes him in. Oh, knee right to the gut. Rambo and Rich caught him there. Ricky Blue's not anticipating that. Oh, looked like he was going to give him a suplex, turned it into a power bomb. And Joe DiCarlo got Looks a like two count in on trouble. It. Well, it sure looks like it, and uh, Ramblin' Rich is going up for the top rope here, Dave the Wave. Let's see what he can pull off with this. Oh, oh, oh boy. Now we got both of them down on the mat, Dave the Wave. And Hard Rock uh, Ricky Blues here gets up, gets himself a little bit of a breather. Ooh, it's a pot kick Whoa, right to boy. the face. Oh, nailed him. And Ramblin' Rich, he caught Incredible. all of that. These guys practice many hours a week in the gym, believe me. You don't execute, execute a moonsault press without some practice. Now these guys look like gymnasts or, you know. Really, they are. They could be. Ooh. Double whammy of his own there. Ricky Blues takes him over. Two count there. Over. This is our main event for this week, folks. Got a big show next week featuring another light heavyweight title match. The winner of this match will take on Agent Orange. Tying so. each other up out in the middle of the ring. As uh, Ramblin' Rich flips himself over to get out of that That's hole. Atomic drop goes up behind him. Rolls him up. No, grab the Hard Rock Ricky Blues off. comes out Charging. of it. Oh, over to the top rope. Wait and a minute. I think Rick thought, oh, charges back in shoulder block. And coming over the top Standing rope on here. The top. Oh, whoa. Takes a shot at his knee. Took his balance right out from him. Wow. Cover. Another two count. The vacant UIW Light Heavyweight Championship, the belt sitting right here in front of us, will be awarded to the winner of this match. Whether it be a pinfall or a disqualification, whatever way you win, you get the gold. Okay, and Ramblin', Ramblin Rich. Rich bailing out. Seems a Watch little... him. Watch Ricky Blues take to the air. Right out. Flying crossbody block. to the floor. 
right look, almost into the front row. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a hardwood floor that would be used for a basketball court, and there are no mats around the ring. So that was by far the most dangerous thing we've seen this evening. Incredible. David Ricky Blue's throwing him back in now. He's got to keep it inside if he wants that title. Rambo and Rich still reeling from that blow. Now, oh, reversal. Takes him in. Ooh, catches him in the suplex. Cover. Two count only. Another two Referee count. Joe DiCarlo right on top of things. And Dave the Wave, uh, a very clean match here, certainly. I mean, Power these two smash. guys, nothing but wrestling moves here, Dave. That's the beauty of the light heavyweights. You don't see a lot of brawling. No, you sure don't. Straight up technical high flying wrestling. As Rainbow and Rich, another reversal. Ricky Blues takes him in, catches him, and press Makes slam, him up him high. Down. These guys are strong too. They might not be that big, but they are strong. To lift someone up your own weight over your head like that. Yeah, that, that is truly a power move, Dave the Wave. Ricky Blues perhaps taking to the air again. If he doesn't get Rainbow Rich, oh, too oh, much time oh, to recover, and he's out of the kick. ring. Right Rambo off the top Rich rope, Dave the, the Wave. Drop kick and Ricky Blues fell all the way from the top rope to the hardwood floor. I wish we could get some light out there. Ooh. As he gives him a chop to the throat and a drop kick onto that Incredible hardwood stuff. floor, Dave the Wave. Incredible. Boy, if Who these guys are carrying this got match the out UIW there. UIW right here. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, caught him in a hip toss on the hardwood. Joe DiCarlo telling each wrestler to get back in the ring as he starts the They've count. He's got 10 to get back inside. I'm not quite sure what he, what number he's at now. I don't know either, Dave the Wave. Amazing, amazing stuff from these light heavyweights. Well, it looks like Hard, to Hard Rock him. is gonna help him back in there. I know the fans are loving every minute of this. And these guys have gone at it full tilt since the bell rang, Dave. And neither man has stopped to catch his breath. They're, They're not training chops either, so in there right the now. I mean, these guys are taking, uh, giving each other shot after shot here. Went for a clothesline, duck, oh! Double clothesline out there. Both men down. Joe's gonna have to lay on the count, both men. And that's what Joe's doing. He's got 10, if he gets to 10 and neither man is up, that's it. It's a draw. Looks like Rambo and Rich able to roll over for a cover. Up oh, and Hard Rock Ricky Blues pulls out of it by getting that shoulder up. Ricky Blues, he looks like he's a takes oh, 360 degrees right in the middle. Rambo and Rich nailed him. And he and looks Ricky like Blues he did a 360. Now he's Rambo going to and try Rich. and finish it as he heads for the top rope here. Ricky Let's getting see. up. Oh, Ricky catches him. him. With a shot to the jaw. A superplex, perhaps. Mouth yes, the top from rope. the top rope. He's got him up. Not the second. Look out. Oh, Ooh. Dave, the wave. I what a that move. Back here. And it seems like it, it did as much damage to Hard Rock Ricky Blues, although. Reminiscent of the Dynamite Kid, that superplex off the top rope. And now, is he going to go for another one? Looks like it, Dave. The wave as he gets him up there, delivers a shot to his head. To Perhaps him up a little. Oh more. no! Look at this. Frankensteiner, a oh, Frankensteiner boy. off the top rope by Hard Rock Ricky Blues. Incredible, folks. Incredible. What a main event. What a main event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to see wrestling and you haven't this seen it here it. tonight, you missed it. You don't see this anywhere, folks. Not even Japan. This is it, and again. Another one. Again, oh. look at this. Oh, oh wait a minute. But Ramblin' Rich caught him. He, he got, got him. Pinfall. He got him and, and pulled the pin off. Ramblin' Rich. Ramblin Rich. What a reversal on that, Dave. The I am shocked. I am shocked. The new, the new Hard Rock Ricky Blues. Light heavyweight champion, Ramblin' Wow, what a match. Well, that's the official Let's go back and take a look at it. From, from ring announcer Jim Dell. There you see Ricky Blues, Frankensteiner off the top rope. Nailed him with it. Look, goes for another one. Boom, Rich caught him.
Rich caught him off guard. We got the pinfall. And they was, shook hands, yeah, folks. And they certainly did. Universe Amazing match, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. We'll be back with more of the UIW after this. Hey, you, sitting there watching this pro wrestling show, did you ever wonder how guys like Kirk Dredd, the War Pig, Axel Rotten, and the other UIW stars got into wrestling? Here's your answer. They attended the Pro Wrestling Training Center in Hanover, Pennsylvania. This facility can make you the next UIW star. Call the owner, Phil Leivelsberger, at 717-633-9542 and get started in your new exciting career. Stop watching and be watched. Join the Pro Wrestling Training Center now. Attention wrestling fans, here's your chance to add all the great UIW action to your home video library. Universal Independent Wrestling is now available in video cassette. Each action-packed tape contains one exciting hour of UIW matches and interviews as seen on TV. All for the incredibly low price of $14.95. Just send $2 in a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen to receive your catalog of all the great UIW action now available to you. came out of nowhere like we said he's get he's got the title shot next week why can't he just wait he's for got the belt next week he's got the belt and he's trying to no. use it on rambling rich wait a minute is he going to take it is that what he's going to do spoiling a very sweet victory for rambling rich rambling rich won it fair and he's square. got and the belt where's it? he going with that belt Agent Orange came out and stole the title. He's got a title shot next week. Why can't he wait? Dave, I can't believe this. Ramblin' Rich is flat out on this hardwood floor here. Joe DiCarlo, see if he can give some assistance. We don't know what's going on, but Dave, the way we need to find right. out. We'll be back to wrap it up in a, in a minute, folks. next week on Universal Independent Wrestling.